history is made at Gibraltar. The Royal Marines perform the ceremony of the keys with His Excellency the Governor, Lord Gort, presiding. Having received the keys of the fortress from the Governor, the escort marches to Waterford Gate. They are to be challenged by the sentry with the words, Halt, who goes there? The keys. Whose keys? King George's keys. Now the sergeant in charge of the keys performs the ritual of locking the gate. This is regarded as a symbol of the security of the fortress of Gibraltar. You'll notice that a pretty hefty iron bar also plays its part in securing the door. Maybe the lock isn't quite as good as it was when the ceremony was first instituted after the great siege of 1779 to 1783. The ceremony on the Rock of Gibraltar is practically the same as the one which is performed in that other famous old fortress, the Tower of London. And now the keys, complete with band and escort, are on their way back to Government House. Gibraltar stands fast! While we're at Gibraltar, let's accompany Lord Gort on a visit to the Rock Apes. There's a popular superstition that when the apes leave the rock, British rule will end. As they are actually multiplying, it would seem that all is well. There are two new baby apes named Happy and Rosalie, but that's nothing. Listen to the names of some of the others. Venus, Phyllis, Marianne, Adonis, Pete, and Antonio. Antonio, when a baby, used to be called Cleopatra, but she turned out to be a he, so now it's Antonio. A compliment to the whoops, maybe. Thank <laughs> you.